Okay, I'm going to show you today how you can set up your Google Plus page. Now, Google Plus pages are the same things as Facebook pages. And what they are, they're primarily ser to service your business online. Okay, you'll have a Google Plus profile. So if you've got a Gmail account or a Google Apps account, you should already have a, a Google Plus uh, profile. Uh, and you can get to that just by clicking um, on the top left-hand side. You'll see up here your name up there and you'll be able to click on that and then set yourself up. Now, because Google Google Plus uh, pages and Google Plus profiles are actually uh, live on the internet, the, the results are actually, uh, the results actually come into the internet and come into the search results. So, uh, unlike Facebook pages, which is pretty much a closed net network, uh, Google Plus can actually help your business and help it quite significantly. It's different on the personal side of things. I think Facebook is clearly in front there, but Google Plus is and will be the, the place for business going forward in the future. Okay, so let's just let's just start with some of the basics. So you're setting your company up, okay? So what you do is you'll have a tagline, and this is for a medical practitioner web design company. Uh, you'll have a tagline, and then you'll have an introduction, okay? And then what you do is you set up all your links. Now I've set up some links here, just some demo links. You'll see here it's a little tick next to it. That means that the website is verified, and that's very important, okay? Um, and you'll see that I've added a email address here. I'm going to change that just, just for uh, aesthetics purposes. But then I click on verify, and then that will send me an email. And as long as I've got that email address in my inbox, which I don't, um, that, that email address will be verified, okay? So, um, let's go through some things that you need to do. So you, you can edit all these all these details here. You can you, you include links. So I can just highlight that and in, include a link um, to Pixel RNA. Okay. Oops. Okay, and then I'll save that, and you'll see that link appears that appear there. Okay. I can also edit my contact details. You can add different ones uh, there. And you can see who can who can see your circles and stuff like that. Um, but the most important thing are the links there, and then your other links re related to the business: Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, um, whatever whatever social networks you're a part of. Okay, if you've also if you're also an author on your page, you should put an author uh, link in, and you'll see from the author links, you'll see it should go like that: your domain name, then forward slash author. And then your then your username, okay. And you should be able to find it just by clicking on that and then trying a few different usernames, okay. So if your username is admin, you, you put the admin one in. If it was uh, if it was a, a short name, uh, you put that short name in. Okay, so that's setting up your, the the pages, okay. People can also review your business here, and you can see all the reviews. You can also upload videos, upload photos, and posts. Now posts, I'm going to I'm going to do a few right now. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. So for, let's just start with a link. So um, um, medical okay, and then I'll put the link in there. Okay, simple as that. Click add link. <coughs> There we go. Excuse me. So you can you can flick through the photos that are contained within there. It's best just to keep it pretty simple, okay. Um, and then what you'll do is you just click share, and that's sharing into the public. You can also share, and you'll notice a tag there called web design, okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few. Um, I'm going to grab a few links and uh, from the from the website, which are blog posts. So what I'll do is I'll uh, firstly I'll and this is what I'm going to do is I'm just in the texting, click on paste, and then you'll just wait a few seconds. So I'm going to just cancel that for a second. Um, So what you'll do is you'll put in the, the link address to the actual blog post, you'll wait for it to load, okay, and then you, it should bring in the photo for, for the article, if it doesn't you can flick through, 
okay? And then you put the title in, and then you can put in what, what's called a hashtag, okay? Um, and you can put a little tag in, web design, click that, and you'll see how this, see how this appears. It's got the tag web design, all very simple. And so we can do this for a few of them. Again, it's just a matter of just clicking in the space, putting in the um, putting in the uh, link, uh, I'm sorry I'm such a loud, uh, so I'm going to use this as a, as a tag, okay, um, like that. And then I'll, and I can share it. If I don't want to share it to the public, I, I want to share it to an individual or to a group of people uh, in my circles, I can do that. But I'm just going to share this with my public, with the public, my public. Okay, then I'll put another link in there. See how easy this is? Just a matter of, of putting the link in. Then, then you get rid of that because it's already brought in that information. Public. So I could I could actually put them in to I could, you know obviously we just started so we don't have circles there, um, but you, you put your circles in from the left hand side you can create the circles of people and that's people who are following you and you're following back, okay. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. Now if you wanted to upload photos you can drag and drop the photos in here and put a title for the photos. You can upload them from Google or from your Google Plus photos. Simple as that. Um, for videos, you can you can you can put a URL in from a YouTube video or another video, okay. You can record a video directly from the screen, okay. Um, so there's a number of things that you can do um, on here. You can also create events if you've got a, a public event or a private event. You can create events, and, and events is quite simple. You you can put in an event title. You can get advanced options and make it a hangout event or make it a live on air event where other people can watch it. You put the location, details, and you can you can invite people. It's it's all very simple and it's all pretty cool. Alright? So basically that's how you how you get yourself set up. The most important things is the first thing is you're getting your your your, your Google Plus profile, which is your individual profile set up. And then what you do is you can then just create a page by clicking on pages on the left hand side. You can also switch back to your Google Plus profile, okay, and you'll see here um, all the different options you have. So you can click on your profile, and you'll see all the information about your profile. And if you look at my profile here, I've really set it up with as much information as I possibly can. You can see all the things that are verified. I don't know why Telia is there, but I'll delete Telia from there. She won't be very happy about that. Okay, so yeah, so you've got to verify all your email addresses and all that sort of stuff. Okay, alrighty, so there you go. Uh, that's how you set up a Google Plus page uh, and set it up correctly uh, uh, on uh, on Google Plus. Thank you.